For years, we've not been able to tell our African story. And in this year's Decode, that's what we intend to do. We don't intend to do it through PowerPoints, but we want our own developers, born and bred in Kenya, to stand here and tell you the great things that they are doing in software. This summit is going to be different like none other. We bring creativity and technology together like never before. Safaricom uh, Decode aligns with our vision uh, to become a purpose-led technology company. It embeds an engineering mindset as we seek to build a digital Kenya through connectivity, through accessibility, and also through affordability. I recognize with much pride and admiration all the brilliant minds and innovators gathered for this event. My gratitude to the CEO of Savaricom and your team for organizing this event and inviting me to be part of what I consider a game-changing event in our country's journey towards prosperity. The event comes at a most appropriate time when our country is scrabbling with myriad problems which could easily be resolved by embracing technology, key among them youth unemployment. For us to grow our startup and innovation ecosystem that we call the Silicon Savannah, there is a key role that the government must play and within our ministry we are working on the establishment of the Kenya Advanced Institute of Science and Technology which will be our equivalent of Stanford here in the country to be able to grow a similar ecosystem that we have seen in the Silicon Valley. We indeed as a country need to grow our innovation ecosystem and the startup ecosystem and learning from successful models we can customize and work our journey as a country with both tech companies and our own Kenyan startup um, uh, companies. And how nice it would be if we partnered today and going forward to ensure that whatever we train is fit for future.